and today being July 7th it would be the earliest that I've ever gone around to a bee yard to check the moisture to see if we're ready to extract honey. Not only is the amount of boxes I have demanding the day but so is the intensity of the nectar flow. We just finished up uh, making the round starting at the back end of the apiary working our way up. So now we are to the front end 500 hives and I'm going to poke down to see exactly where these girls are at and hoping that this honey is ready and cured but I'm not quite sure. I'm hearing activity in the bee yard just a hum and that hum is not from the bee flight so much but the bees curing the honey on the front step so they are busy. Okay so I just want to poke down into I don't know randomly pick that hive and I'm going to go down take a reading from the top middle and bottom I'm going to take a composite sample and see where we're at here well that's a beautiful sight girls have cappings right down from the top now that, from what I was doing today in the other yards, that demands at least two boxes. Absolutely delicious. I can't be right. That's reading seventeen percent. Good weight to that box. Seeing a little more cappings down here now. Not a whole lot. They're just starting to pull those cappings down. Beautiful. This frame's full of honey. <clears throat> That's 16.8%. Holy, that's a box of honey. Here's going to be my concern. I have to wait for this brood to emerge. So we're just, just on the timeline. See, these bees are just emerging. So I couldn't ex set escapes today because that brood just impedes everything. So in the next few days, that brood will emerge. 
And as you can see, they're back filling that with nectar already. This honey is warm. Oh, and it tastes so good. That's reading 17%. I'm going to take this sample back home and just verify my reading. Yeah, that's 17 on the nose. Well, that kind of surprised me a little bit. I didn't expect it to be 17%. I'm going to poke around to a few more yards just uh, make sure that's what, in fact, the rest of the apiary, or the rest of the yards are testing. But according to my timeline, Saturday will be the day that we start. As that brood emerges, it's going to provide well, it's going to open up space because these boxes are full or they're mostly full there's still space in there but that huge amount of nectar that's coming into the nest we need empty space to be able to store that as a packet full and i don't want to plug out the brood nest but as that brood is emerging over top of the brood nest that gives a place for all those bees just to drop that payload and process it are heavy enough. So because we are not, well we don't have a limitless amount of boxes, instead of adding space on top of these ones, what we're going to do is just simply switch them out. So we have enough boxes. We're gonna come around and we're gonna lift these three up and then we're gonna replace them with three empty ones. A skateboard and these full three up on top. And that'll give these hives instant space, just like that. Right now, we're looking at nests that are very full, that need, need more space. This one's pulling cappings down from the top. I mean, we're pretty much out of time. So within a day and a half, two days, we'll have 500 hives switched over with brand new space, one, two, three, empties underneath. And then that'll give us a bunch of boxes sitting in the hot room and then we can simply just go and spend three or four days and extract it all to provide us more box space. And the simplest way to gather more box space is by extracting the honey out of it and then using it again. Holy moly. Let's just check one more hive in this yard. So the frame is mostly full, it's not capped yet. Typical year, that would be too wet.
typical year that would be testing 20% this time of year. They're just pulling the cappings down. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Ah, I can't, I'm having trouble reading that. <clears throat> That's saying 16.8. I got to take it back to the honey house and verify it with my other one. We'll do that. So I grabbed a few more samples and things are testing extremely dry. I just want to verify it with a digital moisture tester.